Well, good day everyone. This is a quick guide to use for using the Throttle Stop program uh, focused on the Surface Pro 2, but it also applies to any Intel uh, processor of the fourth generation. Uh, in this case, uh, these particular processors have an integrated voltage regulated regulator in them, so that allows for uh, fine tuning or undervolting uh, by means of software. In this case, throttle stop. So for this uh, Surface Pro 2, I have an i5 4200U series processor. Nothing fancy in it, but uh, sometimes it will throttle down very rarely, but still it does it, and the fan will spin out, spin up more constantly than I wish it to be. So uh, we do undervolt because we want to lower oper tem operating temperatures and also low, uh, increase battery life and pe overall performance. The performance is increased by allowing the turbo speed of the processor to work uh, more time, actually almost constant. So uh, a quick uh, overview, um, this program will have this option, this option, and this option will show uh, these two options will be uh, on, checked, and this will show this will show turn on. Only when we put we press turn on, it will show turn off, and that means that the program is active. It will make change to the processor voltage. So this this uh, option here is bidirectional per code. Uh, basically, uh, if other components on the motherboard gets hot, get hot, they send a signal to the processor for the processor to throttle down. So I don't want that. I just disabled it. Um, and also the taskbar option is used uh, for is used for uh, well. If we close this, we will see it here. But instead, I uh, see it here with an option, uh, with another option that I will explore now. Uh, some useful things to do also is here in options. We can put show CPU, CPU megahertz, so you can see your uh, operating frequency and your mean and max temperature. Very useful for benchmarking and to check uh, with other processors because this one doesn't get that hot uh, which uh, how much comfortable are with uh, all uh, frequencies you can check uh, you can change the font and color with these buttons here i particularly chose start minimize it and minimize on close because it allows me to put this program into the task scheduler and uh, uh, I, 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 I do that for the program to run automatically at, at logon so I pretty much don't see it uh, when it runs only when it is here only when the icons are here so the most important part of this Thunderbolt guide is pretty much this FIB, FIBR button which uh, brings us all this panel uh, this part here shows the processor multipliers, the tur uh, particularly related to turbo. So we put, uh, I usually put this at maximum. Sometimes you have the option to overclock the processor and you have uh, this option available. This is the case of uh, the 4710MQ in a Clevo W230SS laptop. Uh, it's up to you if you want to enable that, but the main interest of this uh, um, guide is to undervolt. So the m most important things uh, for undervolt are here, here, and here. We check unlock adjustable voltage, we leave it on adaptive, and then we leave it on default. Uh, then we can change an offset voltage up to a comfortable level. A comfortable level is something that uh, you are comfortable with um, that does not crash the computer. 
Uh, actually, if the computer gets crashed, no problem. You simply go back a few steps. So if you have minus 70 millivolts, you try minus 60 millivolts, and so on, until you reach an stable voltage. Uh, you can check this stability by using programs like Prime95, which really stress the, the CPU. And you can go in torture test and select a small FFTs and run it and see how well it fares at a particular voltage. Also note that sometimes running graphics uh, kind of might reveal some stabilities. It was my case because in sometimes it was 100% stable here for a bit of time. I usually leave it 13 minutes. Then it will, Im it will immediately crash using the Unigine benchmark, uh, the Valley benchmark. So uh, again, coming back to this, we reach, uh, we check our voltage uh, with trial and error, with a below trial and, er and error. Usually CPU cache it is uh, a slightly lower than CPU core and it has sense as it works really fast um, and it's also a memory so it is kind of uh, very important uh, to get it stable or if the computer will simply crash finally we have the GPU the GPU in particular for the Surface Pro 2 it is really nice to undervolt because if you came on it, well I particularly do using using Heroes of the Stone for example. Uh, it will allow not uh, it will prevent throttling on the CPU when the GPU is running at full power. So again in this particular case this was a winner because I got minus one hundred millivolts of thunderbolt, that's a lot. So basically the computer with these settings runs at 74 degrees Celsius, uh, hot, and I cannot hear the fans for most of the time. Right. The battery has been extended quite a bit of time, up to two or three hours. I haven't measured it, but it is quite a bit of time. And uh, my frequencies, I usually see them, uh, well, right now because I'm kind of ill. Uh, uh, but uh, in occasions when I require power, they usually go up to 23, just 2.3 gigahertz for the two of uh, for the two cores for two cores active. So given that, mm, that's pretty much the guide for the Surface Pro 2. On the other hand, for the, uh, other processors. Mm, in the case, in my case, it was a 4710MQ processor. You might have these fields enabled and this uh, slider also enabled. Uh, this is the this basically tells the processor when to throttle if a particular uh, what uh, what a package power is exceed uh, exceeded. Um, so. In the f case of the 4710MQ, it was 47 this value, and it was 50 something this value. And the processor, when all the four cores were running, because that, that is a four core, a quad core processor, uh, it would reach 52 something package power, which pretty much bring the temp and the, the frequencies from 3.1 gigahertz down to 2.5 2.5 gigahertz so what uh, what i did was to increase uh, the 47 one up to 55 and the 50 something one up to 60 and the throttling completely disappeared also i put the turbo time limit all the way to the right and the pp0 turbo time limit all the way to the right no problems whatsoever again and with the underbolt in reality my processor is running uh, cooler than before so given that uh, and just one thing I forgot to mention we have to put OK saves voltage immediately apply and then OK for the voltage to be applied Desp uh, despite having this option already pressed so that will be everything and uh, goodbye